marketing your candidacy, the place of intellectualism and attention to details in campaigning. Recently, the Nigerian social political climate has been saturated with the coming presidential election in 2023 and the caliber of presidential candidates involved. Nigeria at the moment is in her most fragile state. Any mistakes or wrong move might lead to inevitable collapse that could be irrecoverable for high citizens. This trusts the need for a crop of leaders that would salvage her from the doldrums of depreciation and mediocrity. Nigeria boasts to be one of the most talented and heavily resourced nations in Africa and the world at large, but unfortunately, poor leadership has been the bane of our existence. Intellectualism and the rights intent are the ingredient for a stronger Nigeria. In the thick of the vices and that plagues her, the nation needs a leader who has thought out strategy and experience list with good leadership track record to be at the helm of affairs. In light of the recent conference held by the Nigerian Bar Association, MBE, themed Bold Transition, the speech of the presidential candidates is enough evidence that we have gone past the stage of gullible and unattainable promises from political aspirants. Aspirants are now sensitive enough to study the climb and prefer sustainable solutions in their functions, species, and dialogues. Citizens are awoken to reality and most importantly, the rate of political apathy has been on the de decline. Since the rise of smart and politically aware candidates and citizens, mediocrity in terms of integrity and intellect cannot be condoned. In order for political candidates to express intellectualism and effectively market their candidacy to the electorates, the following should be meticulously considered enormously. Demonstrating competency. Our numerous challenges as a nation is very obvious. So, articulating realistic solutions in conversations would go a long way in spotlighting candidates' competence. Empathy. We cannot overemphasize the importance and after effect of genuinely connecting with the plight of the electorates. It is in the best interest of political candidates to listen carefully when issues are presented and be intentional about ap appropriate response. Embracing criticism. It is expected that whenever we one throws her or his hat into the ring, his or her actions will be viewed under the public lens of scrutiny. Political candidates should thus learn from criticism from their opponents or even the electorate in improving their plans or ideas. Finally, let us meditate on these words of Martin Van Buren, 8th President of the United States from 1837 to 1841 and the founder of the Democratic Party. It is easier to do a job right than to explain why you didn't. This simply means no excuse for failure. Political candidates be warned. Now, what for you? <laughs> mm. You said they should be warned, Abby. Yeah, no, no excuse for failure. <laughs> um, I mean, without sounding um, negative or, and all right, I, I would just say that we, we will still see some failure. The good thing is what you mentioned, that you have um, a citizenry that is becoming more aware. Mm -hmm. If nothing else, I love the fact that everybody now has a mantra. Do you have your PVC? Yeah. Have you gotten your PVC? Sure. People are encouraging. It wasn't like that. Even just, just in the last election cycle, it wasn't even like that. But as you said, you know, it, it, it just took four years and people are beginning to understand that I must get my PVC. It was lovely to see the numbers. Now, it's not now just getting the PVC, but that we must use it. Yeah, sure. That you have it, you now must go, that we must go out. Then after going out, so they're in stages. So maybe we might not get to stage two completely this time, but at least we will get to it maybe next time, yes, which time. is actually exactly. everybody who has a card will go out and vote. Then from the voting, we will now all escort it. I don't know, how are we escorting it electronically, Abby? Yes, are we? yes, <laughs> yes. I hope they, I hope they carry I their promise of electronic transmission. I, I, I think they've done it in Oshun, and we should, we should what, expect. So now, thing. having seen that the candidacy is awake, I still don't think even your candidates that are running are fully awake. <laughs> um, I, one. Yes, I don't think that they are. I mean, we've seen uh, flashes of brilliance from everybody who has come to talk. We don't want flashes. We want consistent brilliance when they're talking. I want to, when the person is talking and I'm nodding my head, I can say, yes, what this person is saying is realistic. I can see it. it, it they're not fancy words. 
um, they're not fancy words, they're not fancy ideas. I, we, I want them to talk in terms of the realism, not what as we have been talking about that because World Bank said this, or EU said that, or NATO said that. Mm -mm. What is the Nigerian system or society throwing up, right, that their, their, what do you call it, their home, that their solutions are going to be homegrown? Not, do you understand? I, yeah. I think that is where, for me, I, I think the candidates are solutions. losing me. Yeah. Yes, they're not, they're impo exactly. They're not giving me homegrown solutions. And I think that is the next area that our candidates need to start looking. And, and some of these homegrown solutions are not um, um, rocket science or going to be things that are going to be left center. No, we need to, to crawl before we can walk. It's fine. If this is when we want to start getting it right, we don't have to jump or run. We just need to get it right. Sure. Okay, yeah. Uh, th thank you so much. Right. In, in my own view, I think, uh, just to portray what you said, uh, getting the PVC alone is not the yardstick for a better Nigeria, mm. right? So the, the candidacy is not as if they, they are not aware of the reality. They're using it as a tool, yeah. you know. Uh, I'll give an example. When your election is coming, and uh, poverty is self-induced in Nigeria, <laughs> exactly. So that, that's what I said, they keep the money and pay it when they think they can manipulate your decision. Sure. Exactly. So you see salaries are not paid mm -hmm. on time. Close to the election, you see multiple salary mm -hmm. being paid. Mm -hmm. You see 30,000 or 7,000 there, somebody mm -hmm. that has not hit in, mm -hmm. right, and has some bills. You're like, okay, if I vote for this person mm -hmm. and I take this 7,000, it takes 2,000 there for my feeding, 1,000 there for medicals and stuff like that. I think this one is better. So mm -hmm. vote buying is easy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because it, it is just psychological. It's, and the funniest thing is the vulnerables that we are actually uh, in this uh, stuff, we, the allies, are not close to them. So we, we, we don't relate to them. We don't build structure around them. Mm. Don't forget that PDP, as we speak today, is the most grandest structure across Nigeria. That and every APC. ward and, you know, they, they are half indigenous. You know, APC oh. is a merger of multiple oh, parties. Yeah, sure. So when we are saying indigenous, like, like a party that has structure, grounded Grand structure the to the grassroots. So if we are saying Labour Party, we are saying uh, ADC and what have you, what are the grandest structure? that they have, how close are they? As individuals, what are we doing in our community, even our polling units, to bring people together, to say, you know what, if you vote this person because of 5,000 Naira, you will suffer for it, because politics is more like business. I've paid you to get what I want. Then I do whatever I need to do, because that money is not for free. So we talk about cabals and what have you, you know. It's not just about the candidacy. If I come today and I say, take, under billionaire for this election. I'm sure of winning the election if I have the right strategy because I will use it to buy, right? And that under billion, if it is two people that bought the under billion on grant, definitely those two people are the cabals. They will collect the money at their own interest rate, at their own time, so they don't have business with the populace yeah, again. Yeah. So there, there are a lot of things that we need to start to look into beyond getting your PVC. Let us also start building structures, yeah. okay. not just talking on social media yeah. and what have you. Anyway, just like Madam Comfort said, uh, she said that it's a process. Initially, people had this voter party, they would send voters card. That's what mm. you say, look at, mm. look at parlance, who send voters card. They only get it for, to open bank account. Mm -hmm. But right now, they're intentional about getting it. Yeah. So I think from henceforth, we are talking about voting. You know, that reminds me, young persons will be making just just to drive consciousness. They will say, oh, some of them will come online and say, oh, na na so so and so will get PVC, we will follow. You understand what yeah. I mean? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This kind yeah, of statement exactly. in local balance. Mm. Oh, they go to a restaurant. Oh, mm. now, now so so and so yeah. will get PVC, we will buy food yeah. shop. Yeah. All those things. So it's a way of driving consciousness. We've mm -hmm. gotten a lot of persons exactly. that had that consciousness of going to get PVC. So now the next stage is, we actually vote for who you we think exactly uh, is just to add to what you said. Let us say, for example, like Oyster in United Kingdom, like you have an Oyster card, you Oyster used to card. pay uh, to, to, to pay for bus. London bus and what have you. Think, think, think about it when your voter's card gives you the ability to have discounts. Automatically, you know that if you have the right set of person, this your voter card has a value exactly that you are getting from it. You know that once you do the right thing and the right candidates are on the seat, we have a lot of discounts. You can look into Lagos State BRT solutions. Then from Ikorodu to CMS, you spend close to 1,000 Naira boarding local bus. Mm. But when it started, just 200 Naira. 
you know, you can say, okay, I'm getting the dividend mm. of democracy. Mm. So mm. things like that, we should be looking into the candidacy and what they have for us. So that's an opportunity for political candidates to put in their best efforts to articulate and describe and explain what they have for us. Openness is comfort boots. Stay with us. <laughs>